we've been waiting for this for a long time and it's finally happening. Aileen and I met in New York, then we moved to Berlin and then we just happened to end up in Derry almost exactly a year ago from today. So it's been quite a journey. Getting the money to renovate and to, to finish the space and today is today we finally everything came together, the exhibition and the space and everything. We commission new work so we give especially emerging artists, artists in earlier stages of their careers, the opportunity to make a really important exhibition early on in their lives. But in terms of the community, it's a place where we think there's a space to think critically about the world, to be challenged and to have an adventure. The exhibition we're opening today is by a Dublin-based artist named Lee Welch. It's called If What They Say Is True. And Lee was selected from an open call for any artist emerging or early career to apply with their big idea. What is the combination of words, given the inherent weight of each word, going to add up to? There's a series of uh, objects and, and visual material motifs that have been recurrent uh, for the last few years. So rope makes a kind of appearance a few times. There's a, a black linen Japanese uh, print on uh, hanging. Uh, and it's so a curtain kind of would signify a doorway or a passage, yet there's no walls to the left or the right of it. There's a photograph to my left. Uh, of, it's a production still of Hitchcock, his movie Rope. What I really loved about it was that it was, he tried to film it all in one take. What he's done is he's used devices where people walk in front of the lens like that, and at that, at that point he cuts. And it's that kind of liveliness that you don't see in the film, but I think is kind of conveyed through, through the film. And that's in part what I tried to do here with the performance that had just taken place to kind of create a, a particular type of awkwardness, I suppose, in a way. It was quite exciting, you know, but also a bit of a culture shock. Uh, moving to a new country and, you know, learning a whole new system in terms of funding and, and artistic practice. And also, of course, in the city, uh, with such a rich and complicated history and background, it's also something that we had to read up on once we arrived. Well, we're starting a, a library reading room, so we see the gallery as a social space. We're starting family weekend programs, so it's a place to explore art together. We have evening classes for people interested in the kind of theory and history of art. So it's also a place where maybe we could host other people's events, but um, we see it as a very energetic and open place.